Okay, this video is about a uh, dual booting uh, system in Secure Boot uh, using the inside H2O BIOS. Um, this particular uh, laptop is an Acer that came with Windows 10 installed. And um, I set it up to dual boot Ubuntu. I will not go over the uh, Ubuntu installation. There's plenty of videos on that. Uh, this uh, video is limited to uh, the settings that you'll need to do in the BIOS utility to get it to, to boot uh, from Grub and also do it in the secure boot mode. So the two uh, BIOS pages we'll be using is this security page and this boot page. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is set the supervisor password. Uh, that's required uh, uh, to protect the PC so it forces you when you uh, pull up the BIOS to log in and uh, save the boot settings so another user can't modify it. So you go to the supervisor password area and just hit enter and uh, you can enter your, your new password. I've already done that so I don't need to do it. Um, after you enter your, set it up for a password you'll likely need to reboot it. So you'll exit and save the changes and then hit the F2 key uh, to get back into the boot utility. And at that point, you'll go back to this security page. And the next item you'll do is to select a UF EFI file as a trusted for executing. So you just select that. It shows the hard drive, uh, the EFI. Uh, and then on the submenu, you'll see Ubuntu. You select it. And you can pick Grub as the bootloader. It asks you for a description, so I'll just type in Ubuntu. And you can see at this point that even though I've selected uh, Ubuntu as a trusted source, it doesn't show up on the uh, on the pick list on the boot order because you first need to exit and save changes. So I'll exit and then I'll hit the F2 key to get immediately get back into the uh, boot utility or the BIOS utility. Okay, so now I've re-logged in. And if you go over to the boot menu, you'll, you'll now see that uh, an entry is there at the bottom of the uh, EFI file for Ubuntu. So uh, just scroll down to it. And then in this bias, you hit the F6 key to move it up in boot priority order to the top. And then I'll save and exit. Okay, and now you see that Grub has now booted, and I'm not going to let it boot. I'm just going to uh, reboot the PC because I want to get back into the uh, BIOS utility uh, because there's an important thing about Ubuntu updates. That so what happens is if you uh, do an Ubuntu update that happens to update grub then when you reboot the pc you'll find you'll get a message that says secure boot fail and it's got a padlock icon on there and you won't be able to do anything and the reason that's happened is because the um, secure boot saves the 
key identifier for the grub and in the BIOS. So that key has changed as a result of the grub update. So it doesn't match the secure key that was recorded in the BIOS. So what you'll need to do at that point is go back to the security menu and select restore secure, secure boot to factory default. Then you hit yes. And then again, you'll need to save and exit. Okay, and then I'll hit F2 again to get back into the BIOS. Okay, so now you'll find that since I've restored it to the factory default, that on the boot priority order, um, there is no longer Ubuntu. So you'll need to go back into security and then redo the process where you reselect uh, the UFE file, the FI file as a trusted source, and, and do the same thing as uh, the way I started out on this uh, video on how to select the secure boot. So uh, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, I think this is the best way to do it because you're keeping the PC in the secure boot mode the whole time. Um, and I think it's an advantage of this particular inside H2.0 BIOS that they've um, supported um, dual operating systems this way. And it's a little bit cumbersome at the beginning, but once you get used to it, I don't think there'll be any issues. Um, thanks for watching the video.